I have no idea where I'm at. What's up guys? This is Cedric and welcome to my vlog. Now I just got back from a week and a half vacation in Miami, Florida. So I've been very busy having fun in the sun. So I didn't get a chance to record this vlog until now. I wanna give you guys a quick update on where I am in the process right now for my journey to Korea. And also I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tips on taking your passport style photo, which you're gonna need in the process, especially if you're applying to public schools. And also, I'm gonna let you guys in on just a snippet of my conversation with one of my recruiters. Okay, so let me give you guys a quick rundown on what I've been able to accomplish so far. So a couple of weeks ago, I reached out to two different contacts for my letters of references. Now, with the public school systems, it's required that you have at least two letters of references, which is standard. Sometimes having three will give you the edge, but I reached out to two of my contacts. And so while I was away on vacation, they were working on those letters and they're ready for pickup. So I'll be picking them up tomorrow. Now, Epic is very particular in what they want to see in those letters. So make sure you follow the guidelines and make sure that the letters of references meet the criteria. So about two weeks ago, I spent a good amount of time, maybe a couple of hours. Really do interrupt my video. So about two weeks ago, I spent a couple of hours applying to different recruiters online. Now, some of these recruiters work exclusively with Epic, which is the public school system, and some of the other recruiters work exclusively with Hogwarts, which are the private school systems, and some work with both. And so my preference is the public school system. I want to get into the Epic program, but I'm also open to other options as well. So I wanted to make sure I reached out to different recruiters just so I can explore all of my options. I'll link all of the recruiters that I personally applied to in the description box below so you can check those out. Now, each recruiter was different when I went online to apply. Some of the applications took maybe about 10, 15 minutes while others took like 25. And so just have that expectation going in that that every application is going to be a little bit different. They're going to require different pieces of information. And so just have that expectation in your mind. Now, I didn't hear back from all of my recruiters, not sure why, but I did hear back from most of them and I decided to go with Korean Horizons to represent me for my Epic application. Now, if you're not aware, you can only have one Epic application submitted. So if you're using two or three different recruiters and they all submit the Epic application for you, that's going to void out the application. That's not going to work. So I chose the one that I felt like I was the most comfortable with, the one that was the most responsive to my emails, and the one that seemed to have knowledge about the whole process. Now, as far as the Epic application, I filled out the spring 2018 application, and it took a lot longer than I thought. There's three main parts of the application. One, your personal information. Two, three personal essays. Three, a lesson plan that you have to develop from scratch. So that lesson plan took me a long time to actually develop and I wanted to put my best foot forward so I spent a lot of time in developing this lesson plan. Now Epic is very particular about their application and how you fill it out. So much so that they have a guide to filling out every section of the application. And so I wanted to make sure that I followed that guide to a T and I also worked with my recruiter to make sure that my application was on point and that I filled everything out correctly. So I finished up my application, looked over it, and I went ahead and submitted it to my recruiter. And so he reviewed it, he gave me feedback, and there's some things that I still have to go back and tweak and change just so that I can have the best chance of really getting accepted and getting an interview with Epic. In addition to completing my application for Epic, I also had to submit a photo along with the application. Now, Epic requires a passport style photo with the application, and so I spent some time actually taking a bunch of photos so I could have that perfect photo to submit with my application. I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tips on how to take a solid passport style photo in this next clip, so check it out. I'm working on my headshots for my Epic application. On the top right hand of the application on the first page, you're required to have a headshot. And it's gotta be a headshot where you're against a plain background and it's from your shoulders on up. I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tips on how to take a really good picture. Very simple, I'm not even a photographer, but you know, if this will help you guys out, great. Number one, make sure that you're against a plain background. Number two, make sure there's enough natural light in the room. This is gonna make your picture look more natural and it's gonna make it look great. Number three, 
make sure you use the best quality camera that you can find. Now, you don't have to get a professional photographer, but if you have an HD camera, and most phones have really great cameras these days, make sure that you use the front-facing camera, not the selfie camera, because the selfie camera, the quality tends to not be as good. So make sure you're able to set up the camera to where you can put on a self-timer and it gets a great shot, or get someone to just take it for you. That's even easier. Number four, make sure you dress the part. Now, guys, make sure you have like a button up or something that looks presentable, all right? Don't wear a t-shirt, it doesn't look professional, it doesn't look good. Remember, you get one chance for a good first impression. Ladies, make sure you, um, I have no idea what you're gonna wear, but you girls are, y'all always on point. Now, the fellas is the ones that need help. Make sure you smile. Yeah, so that's it. Just relax, have fun, take some nice shots, take as many pictures as you need to because you can pick the best one. So now I'm gonna show you guys a quick clip from my initial interview with my recruiter from Korean Horizons. So check it out. <laughs> Absolutely. As long as, um, you know, I feel like as long as I get in a uh, metropolitan area or city, I'd be happy. They place teachers when they receive the documents because until that point, they don't know how serious you are. Teach children English. It is a Monday to Friday position. No tests are required. Okay. As a uh, 8.30 to 4.30. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, I'll send you the application form, and then if you can complete that and get it back to me, then I can submit your application and get you an interview with the education officer. Okay. Alright, well, I'll send you an email then, and if you have any other questions, let me know. Okay. And we'll go from there. Beautiful. Bye bye. Alright, bye bye. Okay, so the interview went well, so I spoke to my rep from Korean Horizons, and He's gonna send me the epic application. He's gonna work with me in terms of getting it turned in in a speedy manner. So basically he just asked me questions like, what was my preference? What type of school I wanted to be in? And so I let him know, hey, you know, I, I definitely wanna be in Seoul. Uh, if that's possible, great. If not, I understand, but I definitely wanna get into at least a metropolitan area. So he's gonna help me with that. And uh, so it's just a matter of timing. So it's early enough in the game that I can get the application and even my letters of references in in a timely manner. And there's a much greater chance that I can get my preferred city. So I'm gonna be working on that. Other than that, I'm pretty satisfied with how the interview went and uh, we're gonna see how it goes. So I'll keep you guys posted. All right guys, so I hope that you found value in those tips that I gave you and also my conversation with my recruiter from Korean Horizons. Things are definitely moving forward and it's really starting to happen and it's crazy. It's like a crazy feeling. It's really starting to sink in, but I still have a lot to do and I'm really excited and I'm excited to continue to share the journey with you guys. So if you like this video or vlog series or find any value in it, it would mean the world to me if you give me a thumbs up and I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel as well for more updates and I want you to continue to go on this journey with me. And also, if you want to share this with your friends, that would be awesome too. Alright guys, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Be on the lookout for more stuff and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.